<laughs> yeah, let's meet up with six. Yep. Hi guys. Welcome. Hello, girls. We're here. Oh, traveler. Traveler. I'm on. I'm on. I only just arrived myself. I said I'm still getting ready. Oh, and Kali just passed by a moment ago. She said she has a chance to sort out the end where she's staying. But she'll meet up with us when she's done. Okay. Apparently, Tainara and Sino both went out. But she stayed behind because she wanted to help us. And so how has been your progress on your end? Not too bad. After reviewing it again with fresh eyes, I came up with a new theory which seems to hold some water. I'll attempt to explain it as simply as I can. I believe that each of the four things in the prophecy refers to a different field of knowledge. So, got my way, the prophecy got my tea. the reader's intelligence. But it's unlikely for any one person to have expertise in all these different areas. So I suggest that we seek out one expert from each and get their opinion. Also, in two out of the four areas, the prophecy seems to want us to find specific people. It may even turn out that the people themselves are the answers. So it sounds like we should play our heads yeah. together and listen to uh, people who can One of them a clee, right? Exactly. I think we can go through each riddle in turn and generate four groups of names to match the four questions. That makes sense. Alright, then let's start from group one. The first riddle was a flower that is not of this world. Personally, I would still be yeah. for this one. Alchemy is the most likely to have to do with otherworldly things, and he is by far the leading expert in this regard. You can't as an expert to you now. Exactly! You're the creator of the Tetratanic Sweetflower! Who knows? Maybe that's the flower we're looking for. Huh? You really think so? <laughs> oh, but what about Kainari? He's a forest watcher and knows all about plants. If it's a flower we're looking for, maybe he's the man for the job. All right. Yeah, maybe. On to the list as well. On to group two. This subject is a guide who will never get lost. Hmm. That's kind of abstract. Bennett? Does it just mean someone well, he does never get lost. misses their way? Wait, but they have to be able to guide others too. So it's not quite as simple as that. We have an astrologist. Astro then? Wait. Then it has to be Mona. Oh, you mean Mona? Yeah, she definitely counts. Mona? Yes. She's certainly super very confident. And she can use her astrology to guide people. Would Bennett count? Um. Kind of Bennett, but he might. He, some, he usually. Uh, um, um, he gets lost, huh, why him? At her own the list. That's a big giant list. Kali should have been here by now. Wonder what's taking her so long. Sorry. Could we continue our chat somewhere else? Sure. Hey, you wanna go see how she's doing, right? Sure. Let's all go. 
Yep. Let's go. Chloe is like right up over there. Why, why can't we just walk to her in cutscene mode? Hello there, Cole. Hi, Cole. Hope we're not intruding or anything. Is everything okay? Okay. Ah, Sucrose. So I, uh, I, uh, I was preparing some stuff. stuff. Is it time already? Oh no. I, I'm sorry. Hurry. Of course, she's. Cole seems to be wrapping gifts. And now she's frantically trying to hide it. I wonder who they're for. Don't worry. Don't worry. The traveler and I only just met up. We were just worried that you might get lost along the way. So we thought that we'd come get you. Thank you. I'm ready to join you now. Um, how's that thing going? Real. So let's pick up where we left off. Next up is the Okay. Mm. Never left. Anyone spring to mind? Maybe D Luke. Uh, you really think so? Seems like it would be pretty difficult for someone in his position to avoid having to lie. Well, he's all. Yeah, oh, yes, he's seeing your alter ego. The truth. He's the cavalry No, he's too untrustworthy. You think there's something fishy about him, too, huh? Yeah, he's definitely a sneaky one, but he lies all the time. Yeah. I can't help but agree with you there. There's the tone deaf bard. But on second thought, he wouldn't qualify either. He talks way too much. Yeah. Hmm. Is there anyone else for this Acting Grandmaster Jean? She has a good name in that regard. But from what I know... Sometimes covers up the truth out of concern for those around her. For example, mm. when Lisa loses track of time in the library and misses her patrol shift, Jean will come up with some excuse, like Lisa's ill today. Also, she sometimes makes up stories to get Clea to behave, like the one about the big monster yeah. that comes to catch naughty kids and don't go to bed on time. Hmm. Do you think that rules her out? Yeah. This prophecy seems very strict. No, we're the ones being strict. Rosaria doesn't strike me as the type of person to lie. Oh, Kali, you probably haven't met her yet, have you? She's a sister from the church who looks, um, very scared. Not very sociable. Well, you give that impression well. Her first ever character demo was in the last when Blair and my pink. Yeah. She stopped by the alchemy bench once, a long time ago, and asked me about Albedo. I thought maybe mm. she was trying to find him for work or something. Yeah. When I asked, she just said that she was curious about him because he was so intelligent and wanted to talk to his assistant to find out what he was like. A lot of people might have given a more tactful justification, yeah. but I could see in her face that she wasn't trying to hide anything. She was just very direct and straightforward. What? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I've also heard the other sisters say that Rosaria doesn't even make excuses when she skips choir. She just doesn't show up. She's a tough That makes guy, sense. Huh? Let's put her name down. In that case, I think Sinal fits in this list too. Hmm. Mm. Why is probably more trouble than it's 
work for someone like him. Kinda like you, Rosaria. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. Oh God, Noel. I don't think she tell a lie. Um, mm, I need to, I need to redo her. Hang on. What? Yep. Wait. There's one more person. A long-standing staffer at the alchemy bench. Timaeus. Timaeus. Yes, yes, I know it. I knew he. Who the other person He's was? Been love struck recently. Oh, that's sad. He swore that he wouldn't say a dishonest word or slack off until he succeeds in getting the woman he loves. Tobias has a crush. Wow. Yeah. What? Yes, that's right. Well, who is he? Do you know him? I've never met him. All I know is that she's from Leeway. Yinger, Yinger, so Yinger, Yinger. Like let me guess, Yinger. <gasps> For a second, I thought, I thought when I when I saw when I saw v Viat, I thought I was thinking about doing <laughs> Since we're on the topic, helping to maze win the lady of his dreams was also one of my goals for this Wonderland festival. Yeah, and she's also um. She also a perfume maker, so she's probably in town at the moment. How can we help with that? Love potion. Make sure he uses nice paper and a fancy envelope when he sends letters to her. Help him pick a nice gift and wrap it properly. That sort of thing. Yeah. I had the same situation once in the Avidia Forest. I helped another forest ranger out by delivering a love letter to the co-worker she likes. Hmm. Yep, that's sort of Dreamy. Exactly. Oh, Carefree. I helped him with some of the groundwork for one of his research projects. He must have been because he gave me a refrigeration device that he's been developing as a thank you gift. Okay. Is it any good? Maybe. Um, no. I mean, it looks nice. Okay, so girls. Sounds like a no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, guess we'll put Loverboy down on the list then. Yeah. Okay, so last of all, we have a legend that never ends. Anyone come to mind for this particular line? Clee. So perhaps a librarian understands books best, and aren't most legends written down somewhere? <laughs> Not necessarily, but you do have a point. I think about legends. Fairy tales and picture books come to mind. Yeah. She read a lot of fairy tales when Tainari was teaching her to read. Oh, do I count? Maybe. Of course you do. I'll put you on the list. Are you eligible for this one, Sucrose? I prefer to read things like an illustrated analysis of alchemical substances and their uses. The fascinating principles of crafting and hypotheses of life. Hmm. Uh, point taken. Point taken. Point taken. Yeah. Hmm. Clay might be a good choice. Her mother, Alice, is a renowned traveling author. So all the time. with Clay, I would scream. Clay makes the short list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that should just about do it. Next up, we should go and ask the people on the list about the prophecy. Okay. Do we have to ask absolutely everyone on the list? It seems like a lot of people. Yeah, but we will get the clean in the short time. Yes. So, I was thinking that perhaps we should split up. That might make our search more effective. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Also, I thought of a method of gathering feedback. Yes. It's just already with everyone. Yep. I don't know what it is, but okay. So you two can go together. I'll pair up with Kali. Okay. Yeah. I promise I'll help. Capable Kali. Yeah, I got 
this. Yep. Please on my list, hopefully. Yes, please. Okay, here we go. Eat the chips. Abuse your hips. From the person with the most divine stronghold. So let's go to the library. Lisa should be there. BRB, but we're technically on the other team. I'm back. Oh, that's an uh, interesting word to use. Yeah, well, I'm not supposed to be in the film, will be silent. Dead? No, that's even worse. How about Layer? Hey, this is Seeker's trial and Kalei trial. Be <laughs> the level 90 queens. But we're doing no um, reactions. Now, where's Lisa? She's in. Here we are. No. This is her lair. Yes. Her beautiful lair. But lots of people go, lots of newbies go to talk with Lisa. She's not there. Where is she? Hi, oh my god! <laughs> Master? Teacher? What are you doing here? We're looking for Lisa. I can only suppose that they were calling on someone. At least that's as far as I know. Puns. Oh God! This is why. This is why you should do the event. Is Lisa not here at the moment? Surprising, isn't it? She went out. I'm afraid it's just us here looking for information. Except me. I'm not here for information. Thank you. Like you, I came here for an abortive search for the librarian, who is also my academia senior. Hmm. Oh, so you studied in the same Darshan as Lisa? Yeah, That's right. maybe? Her mentor in Sumeru was also my benefactor. We were both Spontamod students. Wow. That makes sense. Cool. But wait, we're getting sidetracked. We came here to look for some information. Kale and I are investigating a prophecy. And we were hoping you all might be able to help. Oh? What sort of prophecy? So goes and Kale is a compliment with the Traveler and Paimon. Mm, I see. You want to ask them about the flower that is not of this world, and me about the one who would never lie. But there's no rush. Yeah. You don't need to answer right away. We're just here to tell you about the situation. You can take your time to think it over and submit any thoughts you have in written form to the Sucrose mailbox. The Sucrose mailbox? Yep. I was thinking about it on the way. And although they seem like trick questions, there's a lot to mull over once you get down to the details. A quick answer off the top of your head might not go into enough depth. Oh. Place a mailbox next to the alchemy crafting table. Everyone can submit their written answers. Dong. We don't have to call it the Sucrose mailbox, though. 
It could just as well be called the Sucrose and Kali mailbox. Or even the Sucrose and Kali Traveler and Paimon mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> I think in this case, we can just go with your quick answer off the top of your head. How about we can just do the C, S, T, and P mailbox. Sounds like a good solution. Certainly more reliable than verbal discussion alone. Agreed. Certainly when it comes to discerning whether someone is a liar or not, you cannot simply take them at their word. Understood. Once yep. we've had a look into it, we'll place our replies into your mailbox. Okay. Okay, let's take them off the list and carry on working our way down. Hmm. Already done. Yep. I'm pleasantly surprised to see those two introverts getting along so well. Yeah. Do you get the feeling that Kale's return to Mondstadt has emboldened her more contrarian side? Yes, I'd noticed that too. Yeah. Traveling and meeting old friends are both good for the body and soul. And isn't rediscovering one's youth while revisiting yeah. old haunts a worthwhile pursuit? When I first met Kale, she'd never known happiness or youth. Hmm. But things are different now. <laughs> it would make her sense if you read the manga. Huge milestone in her life. Hmm. Kali is a very sensitive and introverted child. I'm sure you must have noticed that too, Albedo. Yeah. From the time she's been in my care, I've observed that she's actually a very lively character by nature. But she had a very rough start in life. Yeah. So, might I assume that your respective claims of looking for plants and artists in Mondstadt were just pretexts? I wouldn't say that. Both Kale and Genius Invocation TCG are very important to me. <laughs> Would it really kill you to just say yes in this situation? <laughs> Fine. Yes. We came out of concern for Kale. She's been back to Mondstadt of her own accord several times. But it has led to no significant improvement in her mood. Well, it won't hurt to give her some more time. Um, I believe that Sucrose might be able to help her. Yeah. Sounds like an extension of your own self-confidence as your teacher. You could say that. In a similar vein, I've heard that Sumeru scholars often build their social relationships based on their academic ones. Huh. Is that true? I suppose it might look like that from your perspective. Sumeru society is something of a special yeah. case. The reason it is known as the city of learning is because all of its resources are in some way linked to academia. Yeah. As such, academic resources equate to social capital. It is not unheard of, for example, for people to build a family in order to pursue further studies. But the relationship between the three of us is not an academic one turned social. We've never even worked on a paper together, for starters. Oh, so the academic paper is the nexus of the academic family. Hmm, interesting. I would think of us more as siblings. An equal and pure relationship, unaffected by academic considerations. Yeah. As much as I prefer not to admit it, that statement is not inaccurate. I can understand that position. I have a younger sister myself, and it's only natural for me to be protective of her. What yeah. you described fits the idea of a city of learning, as I imagine it. The family is where all social relationships intersect. As such, a family founded on common goals may actually be more stable. By the way, yeah. who's the eldest between you? Let's not go down this rabbit hole, please. In terms of age, I'm the eldest, of course. He just doesn't want to admit it. But your mental age is younger than that. I dare say even by enough to be the youngest sibling. Perhaps I could bring Kale into this happy family to be your elder sister. No. You will never see me admit to being the youngest sibling. Except, perhaps, as a last-ditch effort to turn the tables in a game of cards. 
after bidding farewell to suit Chris and Kole. Yeah. Let's yeah. 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 Oh my God, that's Mika, Lisa. Ben and, and Razor. There's a load of people here. Wow. All four of them. Huh? That's four. Even Lisa's here. Hi, everyone. Long hey there, time to see. It's been a while. How have you been? We've been doing pretty well. Yeah. You look surprised, cuties. Is it because of me? Oh, hey, cutie. Teacher is not at the not usual, in place. usual place. Yeah. She's normally in the library. Oh, please. It's nice of you to go to my chair. <laughs> Fresh air every once in a while. Well, you went to Sue Mary, like, last version. Oh my gosh, look at me. <laughs> look at his face! Mike is here today, so I thought it would be a good time to introduce him to Bennett and Razor. They're all out and about quite often, so it's helpful for them to get to know one another. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, hello, everyone. M my name is Mika. I'm so scared. Because he has 50 billion weapons. Hi, Mika. Good to see you again. I, I look forward to working with you. Oh, God. He's so, so scared. So We've known them for ages. They're cool. Wind blow. Fun? Mm, yes. A prophecy? What kind? Oh God, Ben, it's gonna stir it up. <sighs> yeah. Gosh, that all sounds quite fascinating. Yeah. I can't believe I made it onto your list of names. You really think I'll be able to help? Believe in yourself. In yourself. Right. Believe in yourself. You're a first-rate adventurer, Bennett. Yeah. Okay, and in that case, I'll step up and present my thoughts on the matter. Uh, except that for God, I'm not really good at organizing my thoughts. Oops. Whoops. Oh, there's no need to tell us all of your thoughts right here and now. Sukhra said she'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench, so you can just write down your thoughts when they come to you. And drop yeah. them in. A meticulous and efficient plan. Yep, yep, that sounds, that like, sounds like sucrose. I will think also. Give me some time. You still have other people on yeah. that you need to go see, right? We should leave you to it. Don't worry about us. We'll drop off our letters at the mailbox as soon as we're done. Yep. Bye! Maybe clear. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. You're so, hard. so hard. Yes, sure uh, if you can. If you're tired, you know, uh, break a cup of tea. <laughs> At the moment, two girls uh Storm Barrow Mountains. Oh gosh, please don't be burning up the place. Let me check my notes. Huh, huh, this way. This way. Oh. Got it. Go, 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 Yes! No way. Oh, it's our lucky day. Yeah. Amber? Amber? Wow, wow, you, you live with her too. too. Wow. 
watch him. Everybody was a media. <laughs> Oh my god, Clee. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Right, I don't think you've been introduced to Noelle before. Kale, this is Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonia. Ay, 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 <laughs> Relax, you two. There's Relax, no you two. Two. Yes. <sighs> Vengeance will be mine. Clee, Clee, what are you what doing are you here? here? Are you planning to buy some fish? fish? Yep. Yep. I want like I like some fish. Yes. Clee's on patrol with the other knights. You're in patrol, Clee. You're a big girl now. <laughs> Yeah, this is not really formal. We're just chatting. Yeah, both. Yeah, both of them are introverts, so this is going to be a hot tactic. Were you chatting about the new guests in town? Yep. A few people yep. from Sumeru have come to visit, so we're brainstorming a few nice surprises for them. Oh! Amber! Amber! Ah! Uh, sorry. sorry, I, uh... I, uh... Amber, you... Vengeance will be mine! <laughs> At least I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say anything, say anything about, about what the surprises are. are. <laughs> Shum, they were fighting over a maid, uh... Oh, Ooh. How am I supposed to join this conversation, conversation now? now? What do I say what to that? that? I don't know. Speaking nice surprises. surprises. We've actually, we actually had a fairly, had a fairly big, one big one recently. Yeah. Go, 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 Wow, yeah. So essentially, you're gathering information to help you solve the riddles, correct? I'll do my best to help. Vengeance will be mine. Thank you so much, Hila. <gasps> Anytime. I'm your team! Yes! There's no need to answer right away. Right. We'll put a mailbox no, in the crafting and bench. No, 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 something. I'll drop some coins. Shall we? Hi. Nice idea. I think we can all commit to writing a note. We'll see what we can come up with. Yeah. Yep. Don't worry. You can count on us. But we do have to finish our patrol first. Some glee was a mania. Burn all that. What are you taking today? A beanie bird. We're going to storm bear mountains, mountains, and we'll end at the city gates. Gate. You'd be very, be very welcome, welcome to join us, us but it but sounds, it like, sounds you're like you're pretty, pretty busy, busy with, all with all this. Yeah. Um. No. No. There's always next time. We'll join up with you after we're done working through this prophecy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So. Uh, we'll be on our way for now. See you later. Have a safe trip back. Yeah. Bye. Now we're all going and chatting, walking and chatting. Are you okay, Kali? Uh, was 
wasn't that obvious. No, no, not at all. It just looked like you had something on your mind. So that means it was obvious. Oh, whatever is bothering you, you can talk to me about it if you want. I'm happy to help. Thanks, yeah. Well, uh, the truth is, I don't really know how to act around Amber and the others. Oh. Really? I thought you two were good friends. We are. Amber's a really important friend to me. Oh. I don't know. I guess if I'm being completely honest, the problem's probably... Because there were two people that you don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm an introvert myself. The first time I came to Mondstadt, I was really immature. I didn't want to let people in, and I was generally pretty awful to everyone. Amber was the one person who didn't give up on me. And if it wasn't for her persistence, I wouldn't have been a friend at all. Hmm. I might not even be here today. And because of that, I really look up to her. Kale was a maybe, uh... Kale and Sucrose met a maid and a tail a Taurus. Yeah. But after trying and failing for several years, I think I finally realized I'm no Amber, and I never will be. Oh, oh, oh. Looking back, bum 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 Oh, the pain of su uh, suffering from the Fatui Seacross. I'm sorry. We've only just only met, and I'm already dumping all, all of this on you. Oh, God. I get so frustrated at myself. I'm always doing this. I get into a spiral of self doubt, and then I end up having to find some way to vent it all out. No, 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 hey, it's fine. <laughs> we was a mania. People don't open up about their deepest feelings unless they really trust the other person. Don't you think? At least. Yeah. I think it's kind of an honor. And I mean, um, ah. you probably noticed by now. I don't have the best social skills either. I always just end up talking about the things I'm interested in and going on and on. But even so, you still listen to me when I talk my head off about alchemy. It's a relief to listen to you talking about yourself for once. If you hadn't told me all of those things, I never would have guessed that you struggled so much. Honestly, I feel like we're very similar people. But not... Really? Really? Yeah. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. I certainly do. All the feelings that you talked about just now. I totally get it. It takes so much more effort for us introverts to fit into a crowd. When you were saying about how you try to think about what to say in advance, and you're constantly terrified of saying the wrong thing and making things awkward. I relate to that so much. Yeah. Oh, and also that part about studying under a genius. In fact, before meeting you, I never met anyone who seemed so similar to myself. Um, um, I'm not very good at getting words of comfort or anything. And I'm not gonna tell you to just get over it or stop worrying about it. How about we just sit here for a little while? We don't have to force the conversation if we can't think of anything. Yeah. Sucrose is still talking, but for some reason, this doesn't feel awkward at all. Yeah. Maybe she's right, and we're more similar than I realized. 
It's a manor. I always have to find a quiet place to just sit and watch the scenery. But it's always by myself. I never thought there'd be a day when I could do this with someone else by my <gasps> Monstad's breeze is so gentle and soft. Hey, Kali. See that cloud over there? Doesn't it look like... One of my test tubes? That one over there? The flowing um, one? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> then, maybe we're maybe not quite we're on the same wavelength from everything. At least, not when it comes to looking at clouds in the sky. <laughs> Thank you, Zephros. I feel much better after talking to you. Yeah. It helps a lot, doesn't it? I also vent to my flasks sometimes. The next time we get the chance, I have to show you my tetratonic sweet flower and my tetratonic wind bloom. Okay. Tetra. What? Your tetra what? Two of my favorite things I've made. They're really cool. I think you might like them. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. You'll definitely have to show them to me sometime. I brought some crackers with me. You want one? There's cheese flavor or tomato flavor. Sure. Mm. I'll try, I'll try the one. cheese one. Aw, look. They're enjoying the scenery together. together. Well, shall we go shall play, we play with, them? with them? Oh, Clee. No, no, it's fine. Let them sit for a while. We are not what Kali needs right now. She needs a new friend. Someone different. Yeah. Who's never met her before. I don't get it. Is it there a difference? Isn't it different? There is. You'll understand once you're a little older. People can draw different kinds of strength from different kinds of friends. And right now, Kali needs someone that's just not the same old me. Yeah. Erica. The face of Sarnatch Chris. <laughs> Wait, did we finish that quest? Oh no. Okay, we'll. Okay, we'll end, we'll end off that part for now. We're gonna do... Let's do Ballads of Breeze. Oh god, we're gonna do Eula's. That's the hard one. I'll give it a go now. Okay, I will do one more. Oh yeah, Lon's doing it.
Whoops. Yeah, that was good. Zolkum. That means we don't have to do any. I'll call us the rest now. I'll give it a go. Oh my gosh, is it you? <gasps> Oh my god, so fun! So, so fun, so fun! Okay. Oh, what? We joined them, so I don't start it. <laughs> yep, I start. Okay, let's go. Okay. I didn't really lose any lives. Living. Yes. Okay, we're gonna end up right over here. I hope, hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this video. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.